I remember seeing a picture of Holy Spirit in his very earliest incarnation where there was a group of people standing in front of a garage. It wasn't palatial, it wasn't a, a grand chapel, it was a garage. They were real folk and that all family is indeed welcome here. But you come as you are. You might be walking in somebody's house or, or their garage or their apartment, but we'll still be worshiping Jesus. Everybody here has something of value that God has put in them. And all we have to do is look around and see it and recognize it for what it is, the gifts of God assembled to do God's work. When we first started, it was mandated. You know, mama made you go. But as you continued in the ministry and in the process of it all, it became a family. I really, uh, truly don't know where I would be if there were not a Holy Spirit Lutheran Church. I can't even imagine. Um... It is a safe haven, I think. Um, like now, we are blessed to have a lot of youth to come from the community and they are coming every Tuesday, and they're singing, and, and they're miming, and dancing. Being allowed to use the God-given talents that God had given you to be used as part of the worship service. The community, uh, the community of faith and Holy Spirit embraced all aspect of the worship experience. We gave birth to four African-American pastors. I don't think there's any other African-American congregation across the country that have given that many pastors to the Lutheran Church. I think Lutheran Church of the Holy Spirit's big, biggest impact has been that we have been a staple and we have been here to serve all 50 years. Uh, regardless of whether you are a member or just a, a, a friend of a member, or you're a person from the community. I've known people that even belong to mega churches, and they have someone pass away, but they are eulogized here. And whether that's because our, uh, they lived in a community, or they belong to these large churches and, you know, it's hard to get seen, they have fees associated with it, but we're always open to offering people our church. The ministry wasn't just for us in the church. We were able to extend it out to our friends who then came in with us. Even those that, of us that don't go to church all the time, somehow we have a real relationship with God. And I thought, we did okay. We did okay. Uh, there are things that people do that you remember, but one of the things that you always remember is love. You never forget it, and you never forget it who you received it from, because it's always there. The Holy Spirit exhibited the attributes of Jesus Christ and that is uh, peace, love, joy, kindness. And those are the things that stick. And so as we go into the world to take what we know of Jesus Christ by witnessing uh, and then becoming what we believe, is that what shapes us and shapes the world around us. We do not know what is in store for us we don't even know how it's going to be shaped and looked, but here's one thing we can know, is that God will work with us to work with it in order that God's kingdom be present.